Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Well, it's been a busy weekend. After I had a really nice IMG Moonglow litter on Saturday, I was checking my breeders last night, Sunday night, discovered another female had given birth. This is another morph litter, and this one is really spectacular. This, the dad, is a Moran Jungle. I bred him to a Hyper Moran female, and we got a lot of cool boas. So here's what I discovered last night. I was just doing my nightly checks of the boas, and uh, what do you know, another litter. This is the second in 24 hours. I was just doing this last night and I just discovered my IMG Moonglow litter, and now a Hypo Jungle Moran female has dropped. I see a few babies there. She's looking a lot thinner, so I'm going to take a look at what's under that hide box. See what's in there. Hopefully we have uh, babies and not slugs. The female looks kind of tired. I'm going to just clear her away. Um, actually, why don't we just take a quick look under the box. I'm, the suspense is uh, killing me right now. Um, what do we got there? Holy shit, yeah. There's quite a few babies. Lots of, I see some super morons. I'm gonna get this female soaking and then we'll uh, check out what we have here. First I thought I'd zoom in there. Well, I'll look at them and the patterns on there. And I can see uh, what looks like an obvious super in the back, in that, still in the amniotic sac. Looks like a lot of good stuff in this litter. But uh, let's get this mother out and get her cleaned up. She's usually pretty docile, but she might be a little bit uh, pissy that I'm messing with her babies. I got the mother soaking and I'm just uh, taking this in and uh, trying to process this. This is, uh, I'm almost speechless to be honest. Uh, I mean, I, I almost feel like I'm dreaming looking at this litter. Uh, you know, I don't want to use the word epic lightly, but I have to say that this uh, might be what I would consider an epic litter. I mean, just, just look at these patterns. I almost feel like I'm hallucinating or something. This is like uh, so off the charts. I, I almost can't believe it. Wow. You know, I, I had, you know, 24 hours ago, I... My first morph litter of the year, I thought was my best uh, morph litter ever, but I gotta say that, uh, wow, this just takes the cake. This female actually uh, slugged out two years ago when I first bred her. Real disappointing, but uh, wow, these little guys are just incredible. I'm just gonna get these guys out and uh, take a look at what we have. But first I gotta just do a few panning shots here. Just record this moment in C2 as I saw it. And you know, I don't have my glasses on so I can't really see on my camera screen exactly because it's blurred. I know it's in focus though, so when you guys are watching this on YouTube, it's gonna look better. I just see these beautiful zigzaggy jungle patterns so we should have some this is a super hypo moron cross with a moron so we should have some jungles and hypos and jungle morons and super morons and maybe even a super jungle moron yeah let's get them put out gonna get them out now and put them in a tub well there you have it it's quite a sight and this isn't just a uh, epic quality litter. This is my second largest litter of all time. It's 22 babies. Just incredible. Wow, look at those. So some of them are still in the amniotic sacs. Some of them are wriggling free. 
they all look like they're in decent shape and healthy um, so that's good to see and no no stillborns just a couple slugs as usual but I see a lot going on there some really cool looking jungles some definite super morons some jungle morons jungle super morons just crazy I don't have to do the customary close-up panning shot some of you guys a few months down the road or a year or two that might acquire some of these animals hopefully you'll be able to pick yours out in the goo and that's part of the reason I do these videos so if you do get a boa from me you can see exactly where it came from what its siblings look like you can just follow the complete life story of your boa but I hope this is of some value to all you boa hobbyists. And uh, I don't have much to say now. Like I said, I'm kind of at a loss for words. You know, yesterday's litter, I was on cloud nine over. I actually didn't sleep very well last night. I was so excited. And now, uh, you know, it's just about to get ready to go to bed. And now I have this. So I'll probably be up most of the night again. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get these guys um, on a heat pad set to 90 degrees on one half of the enclosure. And uh, as usual, they'll stay in this tub for their first 10 days or so till they shed. I'll probably have to split these guys into two tubs. There's just too many of them in here, not enough space. But lots of really cool combinations. There's a really stripey looking one on the uh, the top right there with his head sticking up if you're into that kind of look. Personally I like more of the high contrast like this guy in the middle. That's probably just a straight moron. Not, not even a jungle, it's probably just a straight moron and uh, even the you know the more simple single gene animals are just as nice. But uh, just a lot of cool looks. And your know, boa breeding, as you probably know, is really an emotional roller coaster. It can be devastating, but you know, at times it can just be really elating. This is just such a cool litter. So now I'm going to go and clean the enclosure, get the mommy out of the water bath, and you know, dry her up. And uh, tomorrow she'll get a well-deserved meal of a rat. It's the next day and I've come to check on the babies and clean the paper towels. I was actually up a couple times in the night uh, cleaning paper towels and checking on them. Kind of hard to sleep, but um, anyway, I'm still blown away by this litter. So much going on here, so many genes. It's going to take me a, a little bit of time to sort them all out, but I should have a better idea after they shed. You can see the big pile of babies sitting in the corner there. Safety in numbers. Here you see a writhing mass of living artwork in the form of these gorgeous boas. And uh, I think I'm going to try to show you guys uh, just a few of the ones that stand out. Some of the most exciting results are these super morons. So these are ones that have two copies of the moron gene. And they're known for this really intense red coloration. What's really cool is they have these really dark eyes, so that's a, a nice marker that stands out. Here's a close-up. Hopefully you can see their dark eyes. It'll be more apparent after they shed. So I'm just blown away by this many supers. I mean, I think on Morph Market, in the history of Morph Market, there's only been like three supers, which have been listed up there. And I got five right here. And um, I think that some of them were Supermoron jungles that were listed. I think here we have, looks like Supermoron hypos and maybe one just regular Supermoron. You can see there's one that has much darker saddles, which I think is just a non-hypo. There's the non-hypo, it's much darker. And I think it's jungle as well. And I actually kind of like that one better than the hypos. And there's a couple hypo super morons, maybe even super hypo super morons. And I hate to use the term, but uh, I'm pretty sure these could be a world's first. 
Apologies, I always cringe when I hear some breeder bragging about a world's first and I've just used that term. Uh, there's a lot of jungles going on here. Here's a couple really cool stripe ones. These appear to be hypo jungles. They have this really cool striping. And even some of the more standard low expression jungles are quite nice also. These guys appear to be uh, possible morons. They're not hypos, but I'll know more once they shed. Here's one more really cool looking hypo jungle, probably a moron as well, but just a lot in this litter, you know, to keep me busy. But uh, as I said, I'll know more once they shed exactly what we're dealing with here. So I'm really excited about this litter in case you haven't figured out by now. Um, and again, as I mentioned, this is the father of the litter. He's a 2018 Moran Jungle. This is actually his second litter, but uh, his first litter was quite a bit smaller. So he's quite, you know, quite impressive that he sired this litter. And um, as I mentioned, there'll be quite a bit of for me to go through. So once these guys shed, I intend to get a better idea of what they are. Maybe make a video going over some of the uh, more noteworthy offspring um, and you know a lot of these guys probably most if not all of them are going to be available eventually so as always if you're interested stay tuned to the channel for updates on their progress as well as information about when they become available anyway i hope you enjoyed this look at a really good day in the life of a boa breeder and this is really what keeps me going um, you know, bulb breeding is a hell of a lot of work. It's dirty, it's demanding. It could be extremely depressing, but it also can be extremely rewarding and exhilarating. And that's really what keeps me going. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.